In this series of videos, we're going to be going through how to set up a shared library across your organization. If we go up to the Macabacus section of the ribbon and click right here under library, all content, we're going to see the library pane open up and we can see right here that we've set up a shared test library, which is what we're going to be going through in these videos. Let's dive in. Just before we dive in, it's really important to note that in order to set up a shared library, you need to be set as a Macabacus account administrator or a Windows account administrator. Now, before we get started, we want to close out of this library pane here, and we want to just check to see that things are set up for cloud storage. We want to check up here in settings configure, and then down the left-hand side, if we click on cloud storage, we want to make sure that we've gone through the steps of setting up our cloud storage solution that's appropriate for our organization. If this has not yet been set up, please refer back to our videos on setting up cloud storage. Before we close out of this dialog box, we want to take note of which cloud storage solution that we're using. As we can see up here, we're using the automatic detection, and Macabacus has correctly detected our corporate OneDrive account. And this is the address on our computer of where the files are stored for our OneDrive account. So we've pointed Macabacus to the correct location for our OneDrive account, but now what we'll need to do to set up a shared library is give Macabacus a little bit more information of where the library is located inside that OneDrive folder. Let's close out of this dialog box and go ahead to the next step. Now what we'll do is get started on creating a new library. Before we can go up here where it says library, we need to go into settings and click on library manager. This dialog box here comes up and we can see that we already have a personal library, but really what we're interested in here is creating a shared library. So what we wanna do now is create a shared library. We're gonna go down here and click where it says new library, and we're gonna put in a name. We'll call it the shared test library, just like this. Now the computer is looking for a location. We're going to paste a location in here, but we could just as easily click right over here on this browse button. It's important to note that the first part of this path matches what we put in defined in cloud storage as our cloud storage solution for OneDrive. But what we've also done is given Macabacus some information to the folder inside there where we've created this Macabacus library. Now, as we can see, we're giving read access to everyone and write access for administrators only. What we're going to do now is click this button here to create the shared library. You can see we get a little dialog that comes up. New shared library created. Be sure to publish changes to shared library definitions in the share settings dialog. Let's click OK here. And what we want to do now is make sure that we publish this new shared library or push it out to the other users. At this point, it's just been created here on our computer. We're going to close out of this dialog box and now go through the steps to publish it. So please join us over in the next video when we'll take this library and push it out or publish it to all the other users in our organization. See you there. If you're enjoying these tips and would like to see more of our content, please like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for your support, and we'll see you soon in the next video.